The simplest way to hide geometry for clothing specifically is actually to use a new ability that we have in Daz Studio uh, with the Polygon Group Editor tool or it's, it's getting renamed to the Mesh Editor or something like that. So <laughs> whichever it's called, the icon's pretty much the same. But uh, that tool allows you to select geometry, face groups, or you can go in and actually just select them by dragging. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you how to specify geometry that will automatically hide whenever a wearable is fit to the figure. So in this case, these boots, they hide the feet. There's really no reason to keep the feet visible, you know, if you're having poke through problems or whatever. So I'm going to select our toe. Well, for now, let me just hide the boots so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to select the our toe and our foot. You know, uh, that I'm safe to hide at least that much. So let's just let's just do that. Okay. And you can see that, that those are well within the boots. Uh, if I'm having poke through issues for some reason, in some cases up a little higher, we can always extend that. Um, you can go into polygon selection and grow selection, or you can see it's control plus. So you can grow it beyond that uh, to however much you feel like you need. All right, and then you just right click and say polygon assignment set auto hide faces for fitted figure and it'll pop up a dialogue and it'll list all the items that are fit to this figure at the moment and right now I only have boots uh, so I hit accept select boots and hit select or accept and then now uh, I'm going to right now if I hide the boots you can see the feet are still visible but if I unfit the boots and then I refit them. Now, as it fits to it, it will go and hide that geometry. So you will not get any poke through. So this is perfectly safe to do for items that are going to fully cover it. If I was going to have trans maps on the boots or do anything crazy like that, where I can see what's underneath it, obviously it wouldn't work. But if they're solid boots like this, now the geometry is gone and um, it can make things a lot easier for you. There you go. And then you just save your boots and it'll save that list of, of faces in the boots. So at this point, rather than going and resaving the asset for the boots, I can actually just go in and say, okay, now I'm going to save a wearable preset. And I'm going to save these boots. And let's see. Oh, I have the boots selected, so it doesn't work. A good, exa good example right there of what not to do. A wearable preset. Boots. And it'll pop up a dialog listing the wearable items on there. And right now it's just the boots. And say accept. And now, so if I delete the boots, you can see the geometry comes back right away because they're not fit to it anymore. But now, uh, if I load my wearable preset with the boots, it will hide automatically. And there you go.